many people now trying to look at prevention rather than taking medication. Better to have a healthy food and taking some nutraceuticals which can improve our health. Vitamin C or vitamin K are examples of the nutraceuticals which can have some significant impact on our health. For example, vitamin K, uh, before they just thought it can be used for as a coagulant for the blood, but in addition to that effect, it can have significant impact on prevention of the osteoporosis and cardiovascular disease. Vitamin K2 has a number of um, potential benefits for people as they age to prevent or lessen the effects of osteoporosis by keeping calcium in bones and to reduce rates of arterial calcification by keeping calcium out of arteries. There's a number of fermented soybean foods available throughout Asia that contain vitamin K2. There's a Chinese food called Dao Chu, a Korean food, and there's also a fermented Japanese soybean called Natto and the research around natto has led to a lot of the interest in vitamin K2. There's a couple of different approaches used by companies to make vitamin K2. Uh, where we have an advantage is we have a very simple fermentation and extraction process. There's no specialised equipment required or sort of new fermenter designs needed. People have noticed that osteoporosis rates are much lower in areas where people eat natto or other fermented soybean paste. And that spurred research, particularly in Japan and the Netherlands and the US, where they found a large number of proteins that need vitamin K2 to do their job properly. Basically, these companies uh, came to us uh, because they would like to make more profit uh, converting the waste product to a high value compound, which can be used for fortifying food or many other industries. As you know, there are many companies producing juice. Uh, significant amount of compound nutraceuticals left in the skin of these fruits, for example. And one of my colleagues in the school, Professor Tim Langrish, actually doing some research to extract the active compound antioxidants from the orange peel. Basically, is a waste from the production companies can be used for the treatment of the cancer. One of the scope of our research in this training center is to uh, use the waste from the company to a high value product and the abalone manufacturer in Australia which export the abalone he's also interested to have another byproduct from the abalone basically we trying to convert the byproduct from this company for example abalone shell to high value products such as collagen or even extracting omega-3 or some other active compound from this material collagen is a major uh, molecule in every tissues. Collagen has been used for cosmetic in China and many Asian countries. It has a protein, it will degrade in the body to amino acid and is a rich source of uh, nutrient. And we found the mechanism of action of this large molecule in the blood of the abalone which can uh, work against the uh, herpes simplex virus which causes the cold sore and many other painful diseases such as shingle and other things. <music>